Real quick, let's talk about some cool banking innovations. You know that moment when you send money, either by strolling into a bank or tapping away on their app. Well, to you, that's pretty much it. But behind the scene, banks are running a much bigger show. Banks rely on core banking system to make those transactions possible. These systems are like the brains of the bank, managing everything from customer accounts to processing transactions, loans, deposits, and withdrawals. So whether you're using mobile or online banking, it is core banking system keeping it all in sync. Now that you're in the loop, let's talk about a bank that can't just stop innovating. Sterling Bank. And hey, a quick heads up. This video isn't sponsored. We're just here willing to share their story. From ICS Financial System in 2014, T24 in 2016 and now in 2024, they've switched to CBAS. So why all these moves by Sterling Financial Holdings Company? To answer that, let's first dive into some key trends driving banking system in Nigeria. Number one, digital transformation. Nigerian banks are racing to adopt systems that support digital and mobile banking especially with the explosion of mobile payment. Number two, scalability and flexibility. Big Nigerian banks need systems that can handle millions of transactions while staying super efficient. Number three, financial inclusion. Banks are integrating with mobile money platforms and agent banking to serve on the banked population, particularly in rural areas. The fourth trend is security and compliance. With the increasing cybersecurity demands and central bank of Nigerian regulation, core banking systems are equipped with tools for compliance and risk management. Sterling is ahead of the curve. In 2022, I was amazed when I made a transaction over a million naira and got a call from a bot within 30 seconds to confirm the transaction. While other banks took hours to get a human on the car, for Sterling, it took seconds. And they didn't just stop there. Sterling went the extra mile by creating a custom mToken app now upgraded to OneToken. While other banks rely on hardware token, email, or SMS, Sterling made sure that they are less affected by any potential email or SMS interruption. Smart, right? Now, why CBAS? CBAS is a locally made core banking system developed by PLS. The application is next gen core banking system built with cutting edge tech like microservices architecture, cloud native infrastructure, open APIs, and AI driven analytics. It is designed to be more than just a system, it is a game changer that ensures the bank is robust, resilient, and secure while delivering an unmatched customer experience. But hey, in any major system upgrade like this, glitches are bound to happen. For over three weeks, the bank services experienced disruptions. Interestingly, Sterling didn't just leave their customer hanging. They were active enough to operate even on weekends to help out. This decision really made a difference. That said, there are two things they could have done differently. First, they probably shouldn't have disabled the old platform during the upgrade. Keeping both apps running simultaneously until the new version stabilized, this would give their customers more flexibility. Second, the old Sterling Pro URL should have been automatically routed to the new domain. It took me over a week to figure out that the URL has changed. But aside these two things, I am proud they took this leap. CBAS also positioned Nigeria as a tech exporter, driving innovation, creating jobs, boosting the local tech ecosystem. By switching to CBAS, Sterling overcame the limitation of foreign systems like 
lack of customization, slow support, and vendor lock-in, allowing them to better serve the unique needs of Nigerian market. Looking ahead, the future of core banking in Africa is set for even more exciting transformation. With AI, blockchain, and financial inclusion leading the charge. The trend towards digital and mobile banking will keep growing, with fintech playing a massive role in reshaping the core banking across the continent. And that's how we wrap it up on this one. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel and follow me on all my social media handles. Until next time, I'll see you in the next one.